Okay, I'm a wee bit late. Uh, I said I was going to do this uh, kind of a report in every 10 days. It's now 11 days since, since, since I started. I'm um, about to do the weigh-in. Uh, so let's get the excuses out first. <laughs> and also any uh, things I've noticed uh, through 11 days of careful dieting. One thing a lot of people worry about is losing strength when doing a weight uh, weight loss challenge and it's hard to tell in only 11 days. I got PB's personal bets on the shoulder press and the bench press the day before I started my diets. Now you shouldn't try and do uh, another record breaking lift just the week after. So uh, I tried to do it, didn't get close to it. Uh, I was about two kilograms off my bench press max and my shoulder press it was more the reps, I just couldn't um, do it. It was just... So, if I can't give advice on the actual strength difference, it's more the quality of workout has massively diminished. I think when I was gaining weight and eating as much as I want, there was, although I didn't feel energised, there was that much more either... Maybe it's motivation to do more of a workout, to burn up more calories. Um, but certainly, my even with pre-workout uh, in me, my focus, determination, uh, longevity in uh, doing weights has massively diminished. Um, so a workout's been much more meh. Uh, but I, and you can see it from from my actual uh, workout schedule, which before was nicely laid out, like all this. This week is just like a couple of lines, missed the day, bit rubbish, not, not that great. So, um, workout quality has diminished from the uh, calorie restriction. When I say calorie restriction, I have no idea what my calories were before uh, I started this. Um, I have suspect, <laughs> considering I was having three lunches a day with lots of chocolate, bags of nuts. I was probably around about 3,000, maybe 4,000 calories um, a day. What my macros were, don't have a clue. All I know is that they were terrible. Uh, the macros which I've been trying to follow are what my fitness pal, you know the app that you get, what it kind of automatically recommends. Um, and that's about 50% carbs, to, and then something for fat and protein. Um, and uh, I've been fairly close to that. Um, so I've been quite happy with that, but trying to get protein on a vegan diet um, for weightlifting without supplementation, very, very difficult. So I've been using a, a, a protein a supplement, a protein powder, a vegan protein powder from uh, My Protein, that's the name of the company. If you want, there's a link for it down below. I've had to go, but I've finished it. And I've had to go buy myself another pack because I was thinking this morning, I was like, ah, finished all my protein, cool, I shall, I'm, going, I'm not going to use supplements, I don't need supplements, no, I don't need them, I will go shopping and get loads of healthy, vegan, high protein meals. Which is possible if you're on a calorie surplus. If you're on a calorie deficit, like last night I had a bag of edamame beans, frozen edamame beans. I was like, okay, how much do I need to get 40 grams of protein? I, was, I had a whole bowl just of edamame beans. You're like, that's a huge amount. And because I'm not having any peanut butter because of the huge amounts of fat in that um, and the huge amount of calories, uh, I'm just not able to consume it. Like, if you want to just get big on vegan, easy peasy. If you want to diet, lose weight but not lose muscle and keep strength by keeping your protein intake at a good level. And when I say good level, I'm, let's say I'm, what was it, I was 98 kilograms. I'm just trying to get 100 grams of protein a day. I'm already having supplement with a 50 gram uh, protein powder, which I think is probably maybe 40 grams of protein in it. I'm also using like a hemp, uh, a ground up hemp, which I'm adding to like a like a oats in the morning, or I don't ha I don't have breakfast because trying to have less than two thousand calories a day is impossible. Um, oh, yeah, it sucks. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, excuse that the way. Time time for the weigh in. But how do I feel? Feeling a less obese, that's for sure. Um, 
tummy is sticking out definitely less. Chest, still a little bit boobalicious. Ugh. Different lighting from what I had last time, so I can't uh, recommend it exactly the same. But, <sighs> it's, it's, it's gone down a lot. So that's 11 days of controlled eating. If we do the, what's the view from above? Ugh. No, it's not. Look, oh, we can almost see my toes. Before, if I try and push out, before I wasn't even trying to push out, but yeah, I would say now, from here, I can see, I can see my toes. There they are. So that is definitely an improvement. But uh, hey, let's go test out the scales. Some of you are asking what the scales are. Uh, they're an Omron Cardarar scan. Uh, again, if I can find them, I'll put a link for them in the description down below. And we have to do it with bare feet in this. So it's the same as last time, and I, I often need to turn it on. Okay, let's get this sorted. Oh, result! Ooh! Ooh, happy with that. It's freezing cold just now, so I'm just going to quickly get my soap. Okay, so let's look at that. That is a very happy result there. So 80, uh, 90 point eight kilograms. So that's a good... Almost eight kilograms uh, drop in weight. Very happy with that. BMI, where am I at? So I'm not obese anymore. I'm still in the overweight category. So I've still got quite a bit to go um, to get any lighter than that. But yeah, 90.8, happy with that. Now here's the... Oh, okay, body fat. I don't believe that. <laughs> I can't be more fat than I was before. And muscle mass, exactly the same. Oh, so that's good, that's good. Um, if that's if that's what it's saying, metabolic rate. So I've lost almost or more than a hundred calories a day if I sat around doing nothing, and then oh, visceral fat down to ten. So that's definitely dropped a good bit there. But yeah, yeah, super happy with that. Okay, oh, yeah, I'll round that off to eight uh, eight kilograms um, in uh, in eleven days, eleven and a half days. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, should we do the thing that I did before? Okay, this isn't going to work because it's currently a sunny day outside and the light from above is having n almost no effect, but uh, let's zoom in a bit more. So I'm standing back here. I can zoom in even more than that. So that's roughly how it looks. Biceps, I could definitely stand closer than that. Sideways on. Breathing out, so there's definitely, I do feel I'm getting a little bit hunched back, I need to do some more back uh, workout as well, but otherwise there, again. But, is there still, it's still so old, anyway, so, oh boy, it's so cold, it's a very, very cold morning. Uh, so the plan is now, uh, I'm not going to do on every uh, every 10 days or 11 days or whatever it is um, video. I'm going to do it every weight loss level. So you get an idea of more of the length of time between uh, weight losses. So let's say that's me at 91 kilograms. Uh, if, we, if we round that one up. Uh, next video I'll do will be at... 89, 89 kilograms. Once I'm at 89 kilograms, I'll do my next video. So, back to the dieting.